and welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany Garcia and this is a lovely masterpiece of a life. Welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber and if you're new, I hope you'll stick around. Today's video is a very exciting video. I'm going to show you the power of paint and how you can transform an entire bathroom in one night using only paint. So I'm using some paint I have in my garage. So let me show you the colors that we have and what the plan is and how we're gonna accomplish this. And hopefully it won't take me all night long. Here is the before. It's very white, very plain. There's a few drips that I need to get rid of. Um, but other than that, this is the before. Take a good look at the before. Hold up just one minute. This face reminds me of what this bathroom looked like before we moved into this house. Take a look at what this bathroom was before. Can't really see much. Let me turn on my flashlight. Okay, so this is the bathroom. It's really weirdly laid out. Um, they put the toilet right next to the door so you kind of walk into it and the door swings out. Um, so we want to flip it around to where the toilet would be in its original spot, which was next to the tub, and then the sink was over here. So that would be more efficient use of space. Um, and then have the door actually open that way on the inside. Obviously we have more plans for this bathroom, but for now we are working with what we have in our budget. spray painted these and the rod and the rod needs like one more coat so I'm gonna let it dry while I prep the walls and then I'm gonna tape off where I'm gonna be painting and this idea I got it from Lone Fox I am changing it a little bit but he got it from Alexandra and Gator um, and I hope you can hear what I'm saying I'm trying to talk really quiet because the girls rooms are literally like a few feet away from this bathroom so I'm going to do a voiceover for the rest of this. I hope you guys enjoy. From the previous time that we had painted in this bathroom, we had quite a few drips that happened and I haven't fixed it until now. It still isn't perfect and I wasn't able to completely get them off. And I know that there's a tool that you can use to get them completely removed, but I don't have that on hand. So here are the colors that I ended up kind of um, testing on the wall. We ended up going with the one on the left that I'm pointing to because the other one was too yellow and too close in tone to the tile. Whenever you paint horizontal lines on a wall, it is really helpful to use a level and check your tape against the level to make sure that it's going to be really straight. You don't want any wobbly lines or crooked lines. Okay, 
Okay, so the main thing about doing this is you have to, um, so when you stamp it, you take your sponge. This one is, obviously it's damp, but um, I've been using it for a couple of hours now. So you dip it and then you like tap off the excess. And the idea is you don't want every stroke to look the same or not stroke, but stamp. So this one is a little like medium toned. This one is really, really dark. And when you do them this dark, they tend to drip. So just FYI but it's kind of like an art so you stamp like uh, for example right here i have a light one so i want a darker one so i just stamped it i'm gonna very carefully hold it very vertical to the ground and just stamp it and some of them might turn out a little bit curved like that one did but that's okay and normally you do this with a magic eraser but i'm using just a sponge um and you can flip it to the other side because they tend to be warped one way or the other. And then when you go to stamp it again, they don't all look identical. Um, and then you can like re-stamp it to kind of grab some of the paint off so it doesn't drip as much. And then um, I have filled in some of these gaps where, or, sorry, not gaps. Um, Drips. Let's see, here's a drip that I filled in already with some of the tan paint, so you can't tell. She's putting all our, our, our cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one But she's somebody else in the making First, she's just gotta stop all the faking She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go Like someone's gonna respond I'm getting tired of myself Cause I don't know what I want But I'm not out here on my Out here on my own Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place That'll make her feel better Make her feel better And that's where she'll go Now for the super anticipated part you gonna help me <laughs> okay look listen listen to the tape to hear it Wow do you like that even Addy likes the satisfying tape peel <laughs> do you want to pull it pull it off <laughs> Done. What do you guys think? 
it's looking really good. I have one more coat on one side, two sides of the vanity, and then I'm gonna put the knobs back on and install the rod back and just give it a quick clean and we're finished. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. Thank you so much for joining me today for today's video. I upload every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. I really enjoyed this makeover. I've been wanting to redo this bathroom for forever, so stay tuned for future design videos, but every week I post stuff about homemaking and motherhood. So I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!